Hello fellow sim racers and welcome to the second race video in the space of a month which is probably some kind of record for this channel. Today I'm going to be taking the Praga R1 around Monza in Assetto Corsa kind of as a way to plug the community social race that's happening next Tuesday for the European server and the week after on the US server and just as kind of an excuse to do another race which is always fun. So here we are on the grid in the Praga. This is a car that you have to rev the nuts off and then slip the clutch like your granddad pulling away, otherwise it bogs down really badly. I've got the traction control turned off, but it still doesn't really have the grunt to, uh, to spin the tires particularly well. AI, as usual, taking a pretty leisurely start. The set of Gorsa AI is uh, it's pretty relaxed about the whole getting off the line bit, and uh, the same goes for turn one and two at Monza. Although, to be fair, that's pretty much the same with the AI in any racing game. Although that red and white car seemed to be a bit reluctant to get back on the power coming out of uh, Retifilio there. So turn one and two unscathed. Hopefully go just as well in the community race on Tuesday. Now, if you haven't joined us for any of those races before, uh, I'd like to take the opportunity just to give them a little bit of a plug as the AI comes back at me. Fair play, mate. Fair play. Anyway, we have all sorts of skill ranges uh, join us from super fast hot lappers who uh, definitely verging into the alien territory and uh, all the way to I think we got a guy joining us who's only been sim racing for two weeks uh, this event. So lots of different skill ranges on display, lots of great racing throughout the field. The key point we try and get across is that these are a community social races. This isn't super competitive. This is really just for people who want to come along, hang out, have a bit of fun and try it and avoid driving into the AI who very slow into Ascari. I think the red car getting a bit bogged down by the uh, cars in front. We've got a great tow here. Can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, so come and join us if you haven't got involved before. It doesn't matter if you've never raced online. Lots of very friendly people. Uh, there's always someone sharing a setup. In fact, the setup I'm driving today is a, just a very slight modification of the one that, that one of the mods, Alpha Lobster, made, which is a, just a nice uh, generic safe setup for the car. Uh, as it comes in base format, it's a bit twitchy on turning, which isn't the most beginner friendly thing in the world, but uh, Alpha setup's uh, nice and safe, and I think people of most uh, experience levels could drive that quite nicely. So come and join us. It will probably be less hectic than racing against the AI, who being a little bit unpredictable there. Let's get uh, <laughs> get those guys out of the way and see if we can make some progress forwards. As I said, it's been a while since I've really done any racing videos. For a long time, I got maybe a bit bogged down in just the routine of doing a set of course uh, mod stuff and reviewing new releases for various other titles and sort of forgot that sim racing is about racing as I absolutely clobber the sausage curb on the inside of Della Roggia there which is ill-advised in this car, ill-advised in most cars to be honest. Sadly with the uh, field of view you can't see how much I'm uh, hustling the wheel through uh, both of the Lesmo corners. I've, Alpha's setup is actually really really stable and doesn't need to be driven like that and in fact it's probably faster if you don't but I'm probably trying a little bit too hard and not concentrating quite enough I don't have the uh, the broad bent uh, sort of sixth sense for driving while you can commentate skills uh, honed thanks to the fact that I've uh, barely done any of this sort of thing over the last six months on the channel but hopefully that's going to change I want to I want to try and get more racing videos in from time to time. As I said, last one I did a couple of weeks ago, really enjoyed uh, the R Factor Le Mans race I did with the 720S GT3. For me, that was just a good excuse uh, as I was race prepping for the race department event anyway. And I guess this is the same sort of thing. Part of me is uh, actually just quite happy that it's a video that doesn't take 10 hours to edit. <laughs> Not that I'm slacking, but 
So I'm changing down a little bit early there. Could do with waiting a little bit longer. Haven't spent a huge amount of time with this car yet. Just sort of took Alpha's setup this morning and just spent a little bit of time seeing if I could take the last bit of wing off and just making sure the tyres are in the right range really. I, th I haven't really done a lot to the car. I'm going to have to brake earlier than I think here so I don't end up in the back of the AI. Learned our lesson earlier with that one. Not too much you can do on the run down to Lesmo anyway. So the, uh, get a little bit of snap oversteer on turning as I probably trail braked a little bit too heavily there. Great run through Lesmo too. That's an absolute gift. One of my least favourite things in the world is uh, outbreaking someone down the inside into Ascari, so to have the move done long before that's even an option is uh, a gift, yeah. <laughs> I got it right the first time. This is the only part of the track where I'm not totally happy with the setup. Uh, maybe I could do a little bit more work. I can't quite flat uh, go flat out through the centre part of uh, the Ascari chicane, sadly. You just have to feather the throttle ever so slightly. This is a strange car. Uh, I'd not driven it until... Well, it was actually Alpha that suggested it. So, um, yeah, I'd not really driven it until a couple of months ago when he, he put the car into into the hat to be used in one of the community races and I think I'd written it off as just being a bit of a it sort of looks like a LMP4 if you will you know it looks like a slower LMP3 car but it drives nothing like I don't even know what what even is this car it's somewhere between like it's the unholy love child of like a Caterham crossbow and a, an LMP3 car it doesn't have a lot of downforce, but it looks like it should. It drives... It's not quite like a GT car. It's like... Yeah, it drives a bit like the Caterham Crossbow. Caterham KTM Crossbow. What am I talking about? Pretty much the same sounds. That's all that matters. I mean, it's a track day car in real life. But it's a pretty serious car. So we've got a... Uh, not quite martini liveried example in front of us so yeah uh, let's carry a little bit too much speed into Lesmo 1 absolutely make up for it with Lesmo 2 though in the slipstream st sun's starting to set I'm using uh, Sol to its advantage probably could have done with uh, changing the date so the uh, or this part of the circuit isn't in uh, bathed in shade gonna have to let the AI go there he's got the line and now he's going to be slow all the way through the middle part of Ascari, which has compromised my line coming out of it. Good bit of defensive work. AI pops its lights on. See if I can rem remember what my headlight button is. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, good run coming up to Parabolica, but that's uh, asking too much. Better to back off and try and get a good run out onto the main straight and down into the... Retifilio chicane as we enter the final lap. Man, that has gone by quickly. That has gone by very quickly indeed. One more lap. I've made it up to 8th place. We've got a couple more we can potentially get. 5th would be nice, but I think that's asking too much at this stage. Especially as I break far too late for uh, Retifilio. Over these two guys squabbling, and particularly if he's going to use the grass, that might make life a little bit easier for me. Oh, I'm starting to get my game face on talking far less rubbish than I was uh, two minutes ago. Speaking of gifts, both cars getting compromised through Retifilio. Retifilio? What am I talking about? Deroggia. Come on, Chris, you know this. I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of this latest version of Sol. I think everything looks a little bit too saturated. But it does look good when the lights go down. Coming into Ascari for the last time, try and find my breaking point in the dark. Haven't seen it before. 
Just uh, maybe being a little bit cautious there. But given that fifth place looks very much out of uh, out of reach now, there's no point in throwing it off at Ascari on the final lap. Which is a very me thing to do. Plunge into full darkness now. I think I put the time multiplier on 40%, so that's probably about an hour and a half, or an hour and 15 minutes every minute of game time. So we've gone from afternoon to dead of night now as we come across the line to finish sixth. Not a bad little attempt. Not a bad little car. So, yeah. Come and join us for the community race on Tuesday or if you're in the United States uh, next Wednesday, the following Wednesday. If you haven't joined the Discord, do. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, it would be great if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this in the future. So all that's left to say is goodbye. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.